Hey, what's up you guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Hank Fitz here and welcome back to the Ultimate Spider-Man Experience. Here we have part four. Uh, there was a bit of uh, technical difficulties with the um, last time we did this. So, um, yeah, what happened was my camera went dead while I was recording part four. So I'm just going to open up my capture gallery and I'm going to watch the video and commentate from there. So, part four. And we left off right after uh, we had our date with MJ. So, we're just, yeah, don't touch the art and the gadgets and back to the map. I want to change the suits. Okay. Still can't change the shit suits. Okay, now let's try it. There we go. And we'll go with, we either can, I want to do a light up suit so we can do, um, we already did the Spider Verse. And, um, we did Spider Verse, Secret Wars. And, um, I don't think we did. Oh, yeah, Aaron, uh, Aaron Arachman. So, trying to pick a light up suit. We got Big Time, Negative Zone, Iron Spider, and then the Anti Ox suit that we could choose from. Um, let's go with. Let's go with the, um, let's go with 2099 white. There we go. Let's try that out. Hey, it's me. What's with the units heading down third? Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker. Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well, I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. Just had Jesus dinner with my ex Christ. after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. I hate doing the shocker boss fight. The first, the first one wasn't bad, but it just was annoying to chase. And now it's just like fucking crazy. It's like take him down one time instead of doing it twice. I mean, I know I haven't gotten to the second boss fight yet, but still, it's just like, you know, I want to Peter, do I just want to make it. sure you haven't oh. left any equipment you built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the grant committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care. And I expected the white suit to contrast with the knife, but it's not really doing that. Like, I expected to be able to see it more. It kind of like blends in just a little bit. I mean, you can see it when you're down lower at street level with all the lights, but I expected, you know, way more of that contrast. It would be, you know, outstanding or something like that. But no, here we go. Hi, Herman. Seriously? <laughs> Last time. I don't want to hurt you. You'll just slow me down. Wow, that's considerate. I'm mean, kind of sympathetic, though. It's like I don't want to hurt you. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. I'm just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Herman, at least talk to me so we can make it interesting. Herman? He's done talking. What? He's the pissed. only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? <laughs> gotcha. Boink, boink. Now let's talk. Noted. 
her. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? Okay, there goes you know the police speaker. are watching. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone. Or for someone. Tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Good enough. Rusev have said enough. He has that um, tone of voice. He's like, said enough. It's like he's already. It's like Peter's already figured it out. So he's like kind of trying not to give it away. When I talk, I lose my focus. Ah! I'm supposed to talk to make this interesting. How did that hit me? I guess I dodged right into it. I don't know. Nope. Touchy. Wow. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? Maybe later. Uh, he's, he, you're, you're not a comedian, Petey. I'm sorry. You're just... You're, you're not that much of a comedian. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. in the cutscenes and kind of right here it contrasts a Looks little like I got bit, some free time. but when you start Maybe swinging, now's a good you time can't to look into really that mask. It. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again early. for dinner. Yay! What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Peter, 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 Peter. Alright, so, the mask. And then I want to do another suit change. Because <clears throat> this freaking suit is not working out too well. Maybe I'll keep it. No. Let's go for... for the armor mark one there we go so we can get some dlc suits almost in morning mr lee will be here soon i could use a snack and i could use a snack so hungry i wonder how how he gets a snack at this point like there's a freaking cream cheese bagel and a coffee where does he get that from pretty sure he has like zero dollars mr. Lee's usually in his office now I like the um, I like the shirt okay so let's just run up the stairs at this point I wonder if Gloria's here well, May's not in her office so It'll last a while. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter this one Oh, is that Gloria? No, no, that's not her. Alright. Bombshell time. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. 
Interesting. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Uh, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? I have something to say, but I know there's a phone call, so I'll have to wait until after the phone hey. call. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Now, I, I really like how um, Mr. Lee's trying to kind of warn Peter, like, you know, he doesn't come out and say it directly. He's like, he's like saying it could be tied to dangerous people, meaning, hey, this could be really bad. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm involved, but I could be, you know, he's not really like dropping that big of a bombshell, but I just love how they have that interesting character dynamic with uh, Martin Lee. Really, uh, really adds to that character development more. <clears throat> hmm. okay. Let's check around a bit. Oh, I don't see Gloria in here. All right, I'll just um, I'll just head out then. Don don don. And then I think I've got to go to the lab. Alright, so I'm gonna yep. set up a marker to the lab right now, so I'm there, like, right on time, because I've completed everything. Some time to kill before Doc needs to leave the lab. Worry about it. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. So, oh, I got a side mission. I'll do the side missions uh, later. Because I want to be able to 100% this right as the game ends. missions open now, but I'm just going to continue the story right now. Nice composition if I do say so myself. Oh my goodness. Peter, oh, Mr. Lee anything. spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's yes. investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Alright. When's Doc gonna call? I'm here, like, right on time. Hello? He says I'm late. Peter, That's bullshit. Say? Dr. Octavius. 
Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> right here! How did I lose track of time? But it's just, I was right here waiting. I was like, okay, he's going to call. He's right there. I'm ready to go, so I'm not late. He can't yell at me if I'm not late. No, that's just my that's just my process of thinking. Alright, we got the lab coat on. It's a men's room and a women's room. And we are ready to rumble. Think. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... It's the Spider-Man's Anakin Skywalker. He's got a robot arm. Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! And what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How well, long have we known goblin. each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> God. He's such a jackass. He's easy. Easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter. I mean, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. But, you know, I'm saying it's gonna be a bitch to fight um, Norman Osborn, Green Goblin, when it comes to the next game, because Insomniac was saying, oh, Norman's very close to becoming the Green Goblin. So, yeah, and you don't fight him in this game, but I know it's gonna be a pain in the ass to fight him. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. You should see how they're doing while Harry's in. Get back on it. There we go. Got these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but 
It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. Alright, so I'm gonna do just one research station, and then I'm gonna continue the story. So, here we go. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble I'm spots. Swing through this like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Why they make you do this? This is so nasty. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha. So I got five more. I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. Oh, damn it. I hate it when that happens when you don't have enough. Swing length. <coughs> Got it. Go. Two more. Right. No, three more. Here we go. I'm gonna get you. Ta -da! <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <coughs> I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Best smokestack picture I ever took. And here comes the car. I, 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 no. I got it. No, I didn't get it. Spider Man! Great light on that one. That was probably the best one I ever took. Alright, we got one more, and then we gotta listen to some phone calls. Okay, perfect. There we go. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's Oops, not useful. Sorry. I kicked you guys. <laughs> Alright, now it's time. Financial shock. Crap. Spider Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. Mr. Negative. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. He was possessed by the devil. Alright, so I gotta wait for MJ's call right now, and then I'm gonna end the video here. Dun 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 MJ, are you gonna call me? Peter, there I've you are. Into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. What were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep God bothering? Are you okay? You sound even moping than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Okay. Now we've talked to MJ, so we're gonna end the video. 
right here. If you guys liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up and tell me what you thought of the Ultimate Spider-Man experience thus far. I haven't died yet, so hopefully, hopefully we can keep that streak going when we get to the boss fight with Shocker. And uh, make sure you share the video, subscribe, and hit that notification. So it helps me off a lot. And I will see you guys next time.